This NFL Divisional Round Fantasy Football Edition of the Sports Gambling Podcast is presented by WinBet. WinBet is now live in Colorado, Indiana, Michigan, New Jersey, Tennessee, Virginia, and Arizona. From boosted parlays to in-game odds on every major sport, WinBet has what you need to win. It's time today to receive a $1,000 risk-free sports bet. Download the WinBet app now or visit wynnbet.com and start winning today. We're also brought to you by Better Fantasy. Better Fantasy is a free-to-play app that lets you bet on all your favorite NFL player props for a chance to win awesome prizes. Download the app today over at betterfantasy.com slash SGPN. That's B-E-T-T-O-R fantasy.com slash SGPN. We're also brought to you by PropSwap, America's marketplace to buy and sell sports bets. Use promo code SGP on your first deposit to receive up to $500 in bonus cash. Head over to PropSwap.com or download the PropSwap app today. We're also brought to you by SoBet. Sign up to bet against your friends and join the social betting revolution at SoBet.io slash SGPN. That's SoBet.io slash SGPN. And of course, don't forget to download the SGPN app. You're home for all of our free picks and podcasts. Welcome everyone to the sports gambling podcast. I'm Sean stacking the money green with my partner in picks, Ryan, real money Kramer. What's happening? Kramer? dog, Sean, and we're still here. Just the grind never ends. We're down to eight teams. Uh, uh, you you're an, on an absolute. I feel like we have to start the show and address the heater. It's been an insane heater, Ryan. I'll be honest. The the sting out of the Eagles' embarrassing loss on a wild card, super wild card weekend was the only thing that really was the cure was my super wild card performance. Five and one against the spread. Only game I got wrong against the spread was the Eagles. Two and zero oh with the locks. Money line dogs. I got gotcha. you. Three team tees. I got gotcha. you. And then. Out of nowhere, hit two back to back, both uh, Saturday game first touchdowns for an insane <laughs> plus twenty eight hundred. Oh my god! Dialed in, Ryan. Dialed in. Uh, Even was... looked at the four games uh, earlier. I and the, the answers came to me. I'll save it for the picks podcast, but the answers came to me pretty easily. A couple uh, I... things I'm monitoring still. It's important to monitor, uh, but I, I'm with you. I, I think it, it, it did feel, um, you know, just kind of glancing at things. You're down to, you're down to only four games. Uh, we're we're collectively on a little bit of a heater, even though I only went three and three. Obviously, we've addressed the fact that the espionage, the the mission was successful. I went into the Cowboys enemy grounds. Is that just, why? You, is that why you shaved your beard, Ryan? Is that was that a part of your? It, uh, it was part of the ruse. Costume like, to get back behind enemy lines. I was just pouring one out for Big Ben last night. Just throwing throwing <laughs> beard hair down, ha- head hair. Everything was coming off. I was shedding. I had to wash myself clean. Sean, it's not just my head and face that got a got a haircut last night because everything was filthy after being behind enemy lines. <laughs> oh my god! As a oh Cowboy fan. God. Yeah, take that visual that with is you. A disgusting <laughs> well, and, and shout out to uh, Jake Paquin, a uh, huge <laughs> friend of the show. I, I will, I'm always bugging him about uh, cranking out some photoshops and, of course, took your head nice. and put it on the uh, sad cowboy fan uh, from the stands. Posted that up over on the Instagram, uh, Instagram.com slash sports gambling podcast. But hey, no time looking in the rear view, Ryan. We're looking <laughs> right through. The windshield at the divisional round NFL playoffs. Playoffs? You know we're talking sports gambling. You know we're talking about win bet, a.k.a. the best place to get down on all your action. Just head over to WYNNBET.com or download that win betting app today. You know we're going to be hitting with some uh, build your own bets. Kramer, of course, had a nice uh, Buffalo Bills one he gave out earlier for the Saturday game. The build your own bets are very fun. And then uh, every $20 entry 
gets you a chance to win a sweet trip to Shaq's Fun House. A lot of, uh, like all contests, a lot of details. Head over to winbet.com to get all the information. But again, in game wagering? Are you kidding me? The parlay boost. My personal favorite. Spin that parlay wheel, get a little extra, extra juice. W I N N B E T dot com. Bet big. Win bigger over at WinBet LFG. We're live on the YouTube. Shout out to Kyle. Said he got the old Rona. Was hoping you guys would be doing an episode today. SGP is the cure. We are what the doctor uh, was prescribed, and uh, hopefully you're feeling better, Kyle. Shout out to. Uh, but Sean, real real quick, yes. put us in your ears, not your nose. Like we're not. <laughs> come on. Yes. Do not do not inhale SGP. Uh, well, and shout out to uh, Matt Prater. I don't know if you saw that, Ryan. Tweeted out that video. I've never Twice seen a kicker. Season. Twice this uh, season. Who was the other kicker? Was it Prater? Matt Prater. Again? Oh, did I? I'm, I'm blanking on the other time uh, he did it. We It's so much content and so much football, but you, I believe you actually f- were the one that noticed it last time as well. On the field, before a kick, he yeah. he just takes a whack. How is that legal? How is that legal? Well, and we- he did it. He it was great, and I'm doing the visual on the YouTube. But he he did the smell right before the kick, put it down, and he's like, ah, I got one more sniff in there. And so he was just ripping some That's how decaf you know. nose beers. That's how AK. you know he's a man at maniac, man. That shit is like. I mean, we've done it before. That's intense. Oh uh, like, yeah, he's last, getting all the way in that, there. That kind of yeah. that kind of scrambled my brain a little bit. I I, I think I'd be out of sorts kicking. I get it makes you want to run through a wall, but kicking, <laughs> I think, is a more relaxed, nuanced thing. Like, to me, kicking's like swinging a golf club. The last thing I'd want to do, and maybe, uh, you know, maybe Bryson DeChambeau is ripping some uh, smelling salts before he he goes. I, I'm, what golfer do you think? Well, John Daly probably because he's addicted to everything. But <laughs> what uh, what golfer do you think would actually get in some smelling salts? Uh I mean, you go to John Daly, you go to guys like Jason Duffner. He's he's walking around oh, with a yeah. large water. Or that, uh, what was that Asian guy who had oh, just massive the vape, vape clouds? The vape god. I don't even know what his name is. <laughs> Shout out to the Golf Gambling Podcast. Golf is back. But, yeah. Yes. I mean, honestly, if, if if a golfer on the tour whip, whips out, um, I mean, John Daly smoking is one thing. But if someone busts out some decaf nose beers, God bless you, sir. God bless you. Because that, I mean, new golfer of uh, of SGP. Real men of DGEN. Real men of DGENs. And and maybe uh, Prater, well, we'll see. He probably deserves a uh, a nomination just for ripping the uh, ripping the nose beers himself. All right. Uh, also, Fade Colby 24-7. I don't know why you weren't able to comment on the videos in the YouTube chat. I opened a support ticket. We're not trying to uh, <laughs> suppress your free speech. <laughs> Sean, but we're getting ready for the show, and Sean's like, yeah, I'm on with YouTube support. And I'm like, uh-oh. Like, what happened? Did we get some sort of violation for, for too much awesome content? Nope, nope. Just uh, Fade Colby can't, can't get it a was, comment. It's really annoying. He He has a comment that says, are you guys muting me? And I can see it, but it's not showing up. And we're not muting you, at least uh, intentionally. We're not. Um, we literally uh, don't know how to do that. So. No, I don't know how to mute or <laughs> unmute. So I don't know what's going on. But uh, feel free to write into the uh, show and we'll read your comments. On I was that. literally just having a professional uh, correspondence about uh, turning on a, <laughs> a, a bot to manage some of these things. And so, yeah, we have no idea. We love you, Fade Colby. All right, Ryan, we're going to do a uh, underdog fantasy draft for the divisional round and then a uh, crank out another FFPC team. So in true degen fashion, uh, the same kind of uh, contest we did in the wild card round, they're back for the divisional round. Uh, of course, head over to underdogfantasy.com, promo code SGP and gets you that sweet hundred percent deposit match up to $100. Ryan, I'm, I'm assuming the contest we're playing is the gauntlet returns. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm getting it up on the screen so anyone yeah. uh, with, with us, if they want to jump in, they can do that. Yeah, so uh, I'm going to poke my head in here, Sean. And, oh, uh, we have three spots. Come on in, Sean. All right, I'm entering. All now, right. expl- g- go, over now. The, go over the contest real quick. Uh, long story short, 10 roster spots. You need a quarterback, a running back, and uh two wide receivers slash tight ends, AKA pass catchers and one f- 
flex or sorry, one pass catcher, two flex or two pass catchers, one flex. And now I'm confused. Anyway, long story short, you're playing pass catchers just like the the, the preseason underdog game. The key is you're in groups of six. Uh, you win your group uh, in the divisional round. You advance to the next round. Your points don't carry over. You're in a brand new contest. Same thing. You win uh, with six. You you advance, and then I think the last round is like forty something people. Uh, so, you know, it's not quite as big because obviously having the uh, the extra round to, to, to filter out, but it's the same contest, which I found interesting, Sean. Yeah. So it's the same. You know, it's essentially the same amount of players. So this, to me, is where you know, sharps like us have an edge. Uh, the player pool shallowing uh, creates an edge for people who know what the fuck they're doing. Uh, I think from a macro sense, uh, giving away my strategy notes, I think you want to put a premium on quarterback. I think you still want to put a premium on pass catcher, probably looking to build towards a two quarterback, two running back, uh, everyone else a pass catcher, six pass catcher model. Uh, if it was me. Uh, and then the only other thing that I, I would say is it, it seems like even more in, than the first game, you want to condense on teams. Um, uh, like I've been finding myself with a nice uh, mix of like three teams uh, out of my 10 players. So Richard Kurtzberger checking in on the YouTube chat. Hello, Sean. Hello, Bill Burr. Ryan oh. is uh, looking clean shaven, almost like a, oh, is that a what completely that? skin skin tight head shave and uh, beard shave when you head behind enemy lines of the dallas cowboys <laughs> and you come out alive you gotta you gotta clean it up uh i guess i should have maybe sh let's see we got how many spots left? i'm two surprised. more people so if you guys want to hop in mix it up, up real quick before let's see here i'll share this link with uh with slack see if any of the dgens want in hashtag dgens only and it is uh, it is half point PPR, right? Yep. All right. One spot left. Uh, is there anyone that was really good in the uh, wild card round? You don't you don't want any part of moving forward. Ah, uh, man, I'm I'm real intrigued by Cam Akers. Like he's all of a sudden like popping up people's boards and everything. Uh, I mean. I think, uh, you know, I, just from an opinion standpoint, I think I'm, I'm, I'm interested in – I'm finding it hard to have an interest in, in whoever comes out of the Bengals-Titans game. But in a way, it makes me feel like, God, we're really, really devaluing the Titans now. Um, so, I, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, I found myself condensing on the winner of the Buffalo-Kansas City game and then basically the home teams in the NFC. So it's, it's been um, – yeah, I, I would I'm, I would say I'm not really trying to avoid anyone. Like, if you're asking me, like, you know, on the Bengals specifically, like, boy, do I like T. Higgins even more this week, especially in DFS. Don't know if it applies to this because really I don't boned know. me uh, for my FFPC ah, team though. Man, I know, man. Just nothing. How does he get nothing? Yeah, he ha he got like two catches, but it was it was nothing. it may have it may as well have been nothing. But the real, I mean, as we wait for this to fill up, that the underdog, uh, the takeaway for me was the value gap between, um, you know, Tannehill, Stafford, and Burrow, and then like the top five guys of, or the top four. So guys. are you are you drafting a second quarterback at all or no? Uh, so I've done, I've fucked around with idea. Like I may take too early. I mean, I th I think you're gonna see. I'd be surprised if. I mean, there's what those four quarterbacks at the top, they're going to all go in the first two rounds. Uh, after that, you have Burrow, Stafford, and Tannehill. Um, and then Garoppolo is like a, like a mile down, which makes <laughs> me think like if you're going to build contrarian, like if you have a contrarian take, you could build a Garoppolo-Tannehill lineup where you really stack up actual studs and don't over overdraft the quarterback. Looks like we just filled up, Sean. Mm. Um, so we're getting ready to get this thing started. Let's get ready to rumble. All right, I'm drafting number two. Kramer, you're drafting number six in a six-league uh, thing here. What is your uh, – do you think you'll get a, a one of these premier quarterbacks? Are you kidding me? I'm sixth again. I've been doing – this was just like draft day. I, I just ended <laughs> up in the same freaking spot every time. All right, let me. Uh, I'm getting. I'm getting smarter now. I'm getting. I'm going to pull up the draft in a different window this time, so I don't have the. Uh, oh, how do I do it's this? hard not for me. Hard for me not to take Josh Allen or Patrick Mahomes, whoever's left. Right. 
Maybe I get cute and take Aaron Rodgers. I don't think you're wrong to think that way. Is that a is that a triple negative? <laughs> uh, that's just a very Ryan way to answer a question. Um, Ryan, your your mobile web is coming soon. Uh, experience is taking up the. Uh, did I did I just share the wrong thing? Yeah. Hold on. I'm, I'm Draft working. is starting. One. I am one pick away. Hedge though. It looks like uh, he's the number one pick. Probably having the same conversation I am. Josh Allen. Oh, no. He went Devontae Adams. Shit. Are you seeing the right thing now? I, it's frozen on my screen, so I can't see anything. Yes. Okay. I'm on the clock. 20 seconds left to go. You know, come to the come to the dance with the girl that you brought. I got to look up that expression. But uh, I'm going with Josh Allen. Again, I, I like Josh Allen. The rushing upside mixed with the passing. I mean, he destroyed uh, the New England Patriots. It's a baby fucking wheel, man. Super chalky, but, I mean, I love being able to get him at the number two spot. Then Tyree killed. Travis Kelsey goes. See, I still, I'm still I, finding. I am taking Mahomes over those guys. I'm still finding the Chiefs to be less attractive just because of, of the, the inability to really stack them. I think it's going to be hard for him to wrap around. Now, the nice thing at the wraparound is I can kind of dictate what happens here um, with with where I go next. And uh, you, the, see, there goes and, Mahomes. So now Patrick Mahomes. So no one has a Mahomes, Hill, or Kelsey stack. No, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this because uh, I, I, I found it to be fun uh, earlier. Uh, and let's see if I can pull it off again. But I'm going to go... Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna You're lock going Aaron Rodgers. I'm gonna lock up Tom Brady. I'm gonna wow, lock okay. up the NFC quarterback. Um, I'm also gonna be done with quarterback. Now I'm gonna have to stretch for pass catchers and everything else later, but uh, I'm just gonna let it force me to condense my team. And okay, go from so there. you went Rodgers and Brady. Did you did you make a mistake by taking Brady over uh, Aaron? Oh, 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 never mind. I thought uh, I was looking at the wrong thing. Uh, then Aaron Jones goes, Cooper cup goes one in front of me. Uh, Joe wow. Burrow just went now See, what I did that by taking those two quarterbacks, I freaked everyone out. And I yeah. think now I, I have to take Stefan Diggs, right? Yeah. The fact that he came back to you is amazing. It's crazy. I've taken Josh Allen and Diggs at the turn, um, right where I am right now. I think, you know, if you can get your premium stack, it's going to make you pretty unique. Uh, and obviously we're, we're stacking the, the table a little bit. One of us is going to get out of this, this, this round, Sean, Derek Henry. Now, what about Devin Singletary? Do I just ride the bills offense? Uh, it's not the, I mean, y y yes. So in one, one case you'd be full bet on the bets or yeah. on the, on the bills on the, on the other side is you're, you're starting to get to a place where it's going to be harder to, to pick up actual talent, but it's a fun strategy. So Mike Evans available, Jamar Chase, Devin Singletary, I, you Joe don't do Mixon. Singletary. See what the build looks like, dude. <laughs> I, I mean, yeah, I fuck it, why not? You know, so now what you've done is you've committed to like maybe I should look at like what is the NFC team I can get for cheaper. I might need a, a yeah, because you're obviously saying I think Josh Allen's going all the way. Commit to that. Don't take any other AFC guys um, unless there's some insane value and, and see if there's not still an NFC stack you can, you can acquire, even if it's just for a game, Jimmy G although Jamar I hear chase uh, Mike Evans off the board. Oh, wow. I, I was, I was, if Mike Evans had made it back to me, I would have been uh, absolutely through the roof. So now Debo just went kind of late for Debo. Uh, he's pretty good. Kramer, you're on the clock. You have back-to-back -back picks. I imagine Gronk is going to be one of these Gronk will be one okay. of them. You got Gronk. And uh, oh, see, now I, I'm going to, I have, I think I just have to do the same thing you just did, which is even though Fournette didn't play last week, mm. I'm going to roll with it and just say, I, I, I'm going to, maybe I shouldn't have taken Rodgers, but I'm going to have the NFC quarterback. And I know that I can get my Rogers stacks a little bit later. My other option there would have been taking a Mixon, would have been taking a Dawson Knox, who are just like pure talent, like point grabs. Yeah. So after Fournette, T. Higgins goes, Stafford goes, A.J. Dillon goes. I'm on the clock. So Tannehill's available, but I'm so heavy on the uh, AFC side or AFC side already. 
A lot. Do I go Elijah Mitchell or George Kittle? You know what? I'm gonna go. Uh, I'm gonna go Elijah Mitchell. Well, and this is where you're gonna be able to build. Uh, like you're. You gonna know, back- you look at the DVOA. Green Bay is pretty bad against the uh, against the run. You're gonna back yourself into a nice San Francisco stack here. And in hindsight, you know, I I probably should have gone Mike Evans, Tom Brady to start. Now that I've now Tannehill's off the board. Everyone, the quarterbacks, people are free. You kind of have to take. You almost have to take him. Actually, you can wait. No one's going to take Jimmy G, right? No, that's what I'm. I mean, I could take him right now, but I, I I'm going to take George Kittle instead. Get the uh, base part of the stack. I mean, George Kittle had a very bad game. He was just blocking. Hopefully, he gets involved in the pass game. Odell Beckham's gone. Now I can wait and take uh, Jimmy G later. And wait, so we're taking how many guys total? Ten. Ten. It's the same game, yeah. It, it gets deep. <laughs> you, you. I, I would imagine you'll be looking to take him next time if he gets back to you. Yeah. It's funny. Kyler Murray's ranked higher than Jimmy G. <laughs> oh, someone took Lazard. I was gonna. That's messed up. Why would they do that? They're breaking up your stack. So yeah. Uh, Lazard goes, Joe Mixon, Dawson Knox, who obviously I probably would have tried to grab at some point. Kramer, you're on the clock right now. You have two quarterbacks. You have a running back. You have a pass catcher. What are you looking to do now? Fill out those stacks, right? Uh, I'm going to, I'm going to just, because I'm not going to have any AFC guys. I I need, I need a running back. I'm going to bet that CEH uh, comes back, but if he doesn't, I'm just going to say, give me the chiefs running back room. Mm. And then the rest of my roster equity will be pass catchers for the Packers and the Bucks. Uh, Cyril Williams, Clyde Edwards-Alaire. Interesting strategy. So you think they're, you're not worried about the injury stuff? I'm saying if they get to the Super Bowl, like if I like in this this build, I'm hoping for a, a Chiefs. You know, Chiefs get to the Super Bowl, face the the, the Bucks and or the Packers. Um, so MVS goes, Sony Michelle goes. I'm gonna uh, grab Jimmy G, um, right now. You got just to. to just to lock up the stack. Oh man, the, your team is uh, is very pretty looking from the perspective <laughs> of just two team stacks right off the bat. Now, what would you do? So Jarek McKinnon goes. One more than me. Do I go Gabe Davis or do I go Brandon Ayuk? Mm, Ayuk. Whoa. Uh, no, I would get the. I would. I, I think you. I either way, but I like the Gabe Davis play better. Yeah, I'm going Gabe Davis next. I think there's a better chance. I've seen Ayuk not get drafted. Okay. I think oh, Gabe Cole, Davis. Cole Beasley drafted. in my queue. Look out. Cole Beasley goes pretty late. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, I probably don't need to spend up on him. Emmanuel Sanders and, and Cole Beasley are probably the plays. Um, all right. So, yeah, Akers goes after uh, after Gabe Davis, then Mecole Hardman. Kramer, you're coming up in one. So, is it – are you – you're just looking to fill out your stacks right now. How many running backs are you looking to leave here with? I'm done. I, I feel like two is good. You have three. Do you think I need a third running back? No, no. I took. I added the extra one because of the like playing that angle. Yeah. Um, Tyler right, Boyd so goes. We're gonna. Y- you never know. I almost. W- I wanted to fire him in a in a playoff challenge lineup because just you know that that narrative is there. Randall Cobb, and then uh, well for the second one again. Let's uh, let Tyler Johnson. Everything you read, uh, Ooh, he's a he's guy. Fun. Uh, again, let's keep stacking bucks. Um, so yeah, I mean, at this point, I guess I'm really just rooting for the bucks. But, and in hindsight, I would have traded the Rogers for Evans and just gone all in a little bit more. But honestly, the five dollar I've been doing a lot of the five dollar one, Sean. Um, oh, just, Cole Beasley goes. Just throwing darts. I that you know that's okay. I I don't think if I'm you. I don't think he's the first guy I'm, I'm, I'm I like I would prefer taking Isaiah McKenzie just from a best ball standpoint I you know like to me that's a that's the higher upside guy because they seem to randomly deploy him and when he gets deployed he, he puts up points 
But I think you probably take uh, uh, Ayuk. Maybe because Sanders just got, went. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna draft uh, Ayuk for sure. This board this board is falling into your hands beautifully. I, I'll say this too. I, I've done a, uh, I've done like seven of these now. Drafting in the first couple spots better than drafting on the back end of the draft. Yeah, uh, Bernard goes right after me. Yeah, it's it's interesting. I don't know if you read that uh, Josh Allen quote where he he would goes, oh man, you really feel for a guy like Emmanuel Sanders. Been in the league forever, won a bunch of games, just had his first playoff catch. Meanwhile, our offensive tackle already has a playoff touchdown. That to me was kind of a hint, like, hey, if we can get Manny Sanders some work, maybe we will. Uh, Isaiah McKenzie, though, this guy, yeah, that's legit upside. I like it. So Sean, now. Give- now, I basically just have the 49ers and Bills. Josh Allen, Jimmy G, Devin Singletary, Elijah Mitchell, Stefan Diggs, George Kittle, Gabe Davis, Brandon Ayuk, Isaiah <laughs> McKenzie. This is crazy. If the Bills and the 49ers play, Sean, you're going to be in a great, great position. Sean, Mercedes Lewis mm. or the other tight end on Green Bay? Degura. Yeah, I think you go Mercedes. So, Foreman Uzoma. Uh, Demarcus Robinson, they're all gone. Kramer back on the clock. You think it's Mercedes Lewis? I do. He seems to like him in the red zone. Uh, and then let's see. I'm, I'm still, I'm still looking for guys to stack on my, uh, my, my players. Is it Cameron Brait or is it Josiah DeGore? Do I just take both Packers tight ends and hope for the best? <laughs> I'm doing it. Actually, no. Let's go Cameron Brait. He'll randomly find the end zone. Who would you rather uh, draft, Trey Sermon or Trey Lance? If it, or oh. is that crazy? Well, you, the likelihood of that coming into play, I mean, I guess if the Niners make it, maybe. Uh, all right, let's see. Who's available? No, I would take Jawan Jennings. If you're looking to take a Niner, Jawan Jennings. Oh, yeah. If you're looking to take no, a I, bill, I, I love that play. He's they legitimately use him. Yeah, he's he's a part of their offense. And, and Degora just went. I can't <laughs> believe I'm getting uh, Jennings. He had five touchdowns. Oh, Sean, your your team is beautiful. <laughs> I mean, it really is. It may be busted after this weekend, but man, is it beautiful. <laughs> so here's who I got: uh, Josh Allen, Jimmy G, Devin Singletary, Elijah Mitchell. Stefan Diggs, George Kittle, Gabe Davis, Brandon Ayuk, Isaiah McKenzie, Jawan Jennings. What well, I mean, what what are you thinking about this? Uh, are you gonna do a couple more of these? Oh yeah, these are so fun. Yeah, I, I might uh, maybe I'll fire up the old uh, the old draft later on tonight and stream a couple. We'll see. Maybe, maybe a little mini draft day. All right, my uh, final team. I got Rogers, Brady, Gronk, Fournette, uh, Ceh, and Daryl Williams, Randall Cobb, Tyler Johnson, Mercedes Lewis, and Cameron Bright. Yeah, let's go. Not baby. my favorite. Not my favorite version of this of this type of team. Uh, I was able to do it earlier, where I got Gr- I, I was able to get better stacks, and I got a Singletary Knox with the Bills too. Anyway, all right. All right. Turn this uh, off. Now we're going to do a – you want to do an FFPC joint lineup, Ryan? Yeah, that's what we're going to do next. All right. While you're getting that fired up, I want to make sure the people know. They already know. They're already heading over to PropSwap.com. They're already using that promo code SGP, getting that instant deposit bonus up to $500. Could be like Will from Arizona. Sunday night sold his 50 50- – he had a $50, 100-to-1, 49er Super Bowl ticket for $500 on prop swap. I mean, again, he locked in a 10x profit. Will the Vil, uh, will the 49ers win the Super Bowl? Unlikely. A will will be kicking himself if they do. But again, PropSwap.com. Get that instant deposit match. Buy and sell real sports bets. And important to note, you can, uh, even if you place them on mobile, you can uh, you can head over to PropSwap.com as well. Use that promo code SGP. And also, Better Fantasy. Head over to BetterFantasy.com slash SGPN. Available worldwide and in all 50 states. Why? Because it's free to play. Completely free to play. You'll get some sweet better credits, uh, complete challenges, and you can use them to place bets. And the good thing, the more credits you win, getting down on their NFL player props, the more prizes you can get. Just head over to betterfantasy.com slash SGPN, B E T T O R, fantasy.com slash SGPN. 
Ryan has completely left the screen. Sorry. He's back. Technical difficulties. All right. How are we uh, feeling? Switching over to the FFPC. Don't feel great about some of my teams. Obviously, the uh, Jalen Hurts team's not looking great, <laughs> but. All right. Uh, do I have a. Did the did you send over the joint team, Ryan? Uh, I'm, I'm double checking because la last time I uh, typed. Yeah. I do not see it. Hold on. That's because I, I might not have sent it. It's all right. Uh, and again, if you didn't get in the uh, wild card one, there's still time over at myffpc.com. Promo code SGP. Get $25 free play. Of course, we'll be cranking out a bunch of FFPC best balls as well. A lot of fun over at uh, myffpc.com. If you hit refresh now, Sean, you, you should be able to see it. I'm going to throw up on the screen. And uh, yeah, no, I mean, they're, they're, uh, I think there's only 1500 teams in the divisional round uh, playoff challenge. So uh, definitely don't wait to the last minute. It's probably going to sell out before Saturday. Uh, we have a, we'll, we'll be giving out a lineup, Sean. Yeah. Uh, stay tuned to hear how you can uh, win that. But uh, make sure yeah. you're in our Slack sports gambling podcast.com slash Slack. Get in there, get involved. All right, Ryan. What are we What are we doing here? Quarterback. Who Who's our guy? Who are we riding? Do, do, uh, you know, I, I was just looking. I was pulling up my lineup so I, Like, I so we're not I, we're not fading anyone. We need one player from each team. We need one player from each team. I, I mean, honestly, I I have Josh Allen as as the guy I picked. Um, he clearly is a guy you like. You just drafted him. I'd be totally fine if we want to just fire up the Josh Allen. Yeah, let's Line keep it here. chalky. I I think it's not hard to get uh, different elsewhere, and I think we can start with a with guy. Maybe we, we just go about. by like teams if that's easier. What do you mean? Well, so like, who do we like that they're playing Kansas City? Who do we okay. like on the Kansas City team? Well, I think if we're playing Allen, it has to change how we play this. But it's still hard for me to look past Kelsey with the matchup yeah. against that Bills team. Uh, it's a very char. I, I would imagine it's the chalkiest way to play this game that's but, fine but boy do i want josh allen in the super bowl that's we can, that's we what... can get cute other spots okay so let, let's stay in the afc a, a game that we can definitely opt into being cute and i think the let's get cute to start let's take our guy right he had t. a bad higgins? game yeah <laughs> all right throw t higgins in there he, okay. he's an obvious uh i i'd imagine that he will be in third in ownership after Mixon and chase and probably in, yeah. the, in the same range as burrow um people even saw uzoma do something last week so t higgins is going to be a very contrarian play in this thing and so yeah that's let's let's do that uh we still don't have a running back do we want to just slot in the big dog or do we want to be a little different with an aj brown play here hmm yeah i, I don't mind aj brown i mean i'm yeah, I guess it's how far do you think this Titans team is going to go mixed with it? What it's half point PPR and FFP. No, no full it's full point. point. Yeah, let's yeah. go AJ Brown because I mean, I, I, I like Derrick Henry, but the world where he comes back and he's not 100 percent, I think is pretty realistic. And I think the world where this is going to have to be a little bit of a shootout, uh, like, you know, I think this Bengals team has showed everyone they're just going to score more points than you so i think i think if, if tennessee is playing in that same game it's going to be aj brown not not derrick henry i'm with you there elijah mitchell running back right okay we just well, i mean we do i mean i honestly i think it, let's just do we just stack that game running backs yeah i like it i like fading Devonte adams oh and so you're going aaron jones do we want to have a debate here yes let's as have to debate. whether we do aj dylan or aaron jones you don't give aj dylan that much work in a meaningless game where you're resting your starters if he's really going to be your guy okay that's probably a good angle right and aaron jones the the knock against him is maybe the pat is just he's been banged up a bunch but maybe he gets the pass catching role going uh at home here against 49ers i like the angle it's a trust thing. Who does he trust? Uh, I think Aaron Rodgers trusts the shit out of uh, Aaron Jones. I think this team trusts Aaron Jones. And maybe he was just playing through some shit and they really needed that time off and they've been resting for a while. So, yeah, I, I like that stack. Um, so now we, we have two flex um, for Tampa and the Rams, so we can really do anything we want. 
I mean, uh, you know, I think we have to play Cooper Cup, right? I would say we should be looking at pass catchers here. Absolutely. Um, Cooper Be- Beckham had his game. <laughs> yeah. And, Cu- and Cup still <laughs> still was fine. <laughs> like, uh, and then be- I think we do we just go C- Cup and Evans and call. I, I don't know. Well, is, I mean, that, we- is this contrarian enough though? FFPC is premium on the tight end, so one and a half point PPR. Oh, so, uh, we could do Gronk. So you, you have an opportunity to go Gronk here. Gronk had the worst game last week, so Evans will probably get that ownership bump there. Brady will certainly be owned. Gronk's fun to root for, too. It, I think Gronk – I think Fournette will be owned, too, even though he burned people. Like, Gronk could be the third or fourth highest owned buck, right? Am I, am I way off there? Maybe I'm way off. I, I think time. in FFPC, since it's one and a half points PPR, I, I, I think I think Gronk will get his. All right, so what we've just constructed is a Josh Allen, Aaron Jones, Elijah Mitchell, A.J. Brown, T. Higgins, Cooper Cup, Rob Gronkowski, Travis Kelsey. I, I like everything about this. We're chalky in some places, yeah. but we're, we're, we're very different. I think, honestly, like I think, I mean – this lineup, if we can get a Bills Bengals conference championship with T. Higgins, like that would be massive. Oh that yeah, would be massive, massive. Yeah. Well, who do you think of these guys who is going to be our lowest ownership percentage? T. Higgins. Easy. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Everyone's still going to be on Chase, and the, probably the with que- good reasons. The question is, after that, um, who who are you thinking? Who's the who's the guy who isn't chalky after that? It's probably Elijah Mitchell could be the third guy on his team with with well, Kittle Elijah and Debo. Well, Elijah Mitchell, I think, will be pretty split, right? Because you could you could make a case for Debo and especially Kittle in the one and a half point PPR. I, I don't think that's a slam dunk. I think AJ Brown will be the second guy in his team after Henry, but Henry will be huge. I think Aaron Jones will be a distant third on his team. Distant. Oh, because of Rodgers, Adams. Rodgers, yeah, right. Adams, and then you have the, the Dylan thing, the same debate that you just yeah. wanted to have. I think Aaron Jones actually – you know what? That's what I'll say. I'll say Aaron Jones is our least owned guy uh, after <coughs> T. Higgins. That's fun, yeah. So if that feels like an okay way to be contrarian. Yeah, I like it. Nice work. And, and did I, you find a way to get Jalen Hurts in your divisional round, uh, FFPC? Uh, no, Ryan. Round, he's, now, he's no longer playing. <laughs> Much like uh, Daniel Jones from six weeks ago. Sean? Jalen Hurts has been eliminated. Watch your tone. They're going to hire this Brian Dable guy <laughs> after they bring in the Buffalo GM, and it's just going to oh, be Oh, look Danny- out. Wagon circling time. <laughs> Danny Dimes is going to turn into Josh Allen. Dude, this offseason is going to be wild. It's just going to be me buying into Josh Allen and or Danny Dimes turning into Josh Allen. A bigger, <laughs> stronger version of Josh Allen. All right, uh, make sure you head over to uh, SoBet.io slash SGPN. Throw down that social betting gauntlet. Me versus Kramer. Oh, man, it was a uh, bloodbath uh, this week. Although Kramer, very respectful, won people a bunch of money. But SoBet.io slash SGPN lets you challenge your friends, family, coworkers to head-to-head betting. Easily connect third-party payment options. Just go to SoBet.io slash SGPN. G P N get started today. Join the social betting revolution. Uh, big week of shows as always. We will be doing NFL picks podcast tomorrow. That should be a fun one. Breaking down the divisional round. Then we'll do a DFS show later in the week. Get some college basketball in here, and uh, yeah, doing the pregame shows on the uh, weekend as well. Thank you for participating in the Sports Gambling Podcast. And uh, did announce the uh, winner of Merch Monday. Make sure you check head over to at Gambling Podcast on Twitter. See if your recent review got you qualified to win some free gear every Monday. Giving away free gear, a.k.a. Merch Monday. For the Sports Gambling Podcast, I'm Sean. Stacking the money green, and he is Ryan. We just we just crafted a $200,000 lineup, Sean. Kramer, let it ride. Check that, 50000